All right, we're gonna take a look at some probability questions here. Uh, what we're gonna focus on are dice questions and card questions, right? So these are pretty common in the exam. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first question is uh, rolling the same number twice, right? So like what are the odds of rolling two consecutive ones? So we start off, what are, what's the odds of rolling a one? One out of six, there are six possibilities on a die, right? And what about two consecutive ones? Or it could be two consecutive fours. It's the same probability for all the consecutive numbers on dice. Uh, you multiply one six by one six, you get one out of 36, right? And what if the question was three consecutive ones, right? Then we would have one over 36 times one over six, right? We just multiply it by one over six again. Uh, so that equals one, over 216. Okay, so that's how we do consecutive numbers with dice. Just keep multiplying by one sixth. Okay, um, uh, okay, two dice, right? Two dice chance of rolling is six. Uh, so here we have a combo, right? So now we have to look at what different combinations lead to a six. So we would have one and five, two and four. Three and three, four and two, five and one. Okay, so there's five possibilities there, right? And what we want to know is that with two dice, there are 36 possibilities. So you can trust me on that, or you can count them up yourself, all the different combinations with two dice. Um, and there's 36 possibilities, so that's just a number you should probably get in your head uh, and know that there's 36 possibilities with two dice and that's how we go about solving that one. Okay, on to the uh, card questions. Okay, so there's a face face card question. What, is it, what are the chances of getting a face card in a deck, right? So um, the face cards are uh, ace, jack, queen, and king, um, right? And there are four of each of those, so there's 16 total. Right, um, diamonds, hearts, clubs, spades. Right, so there's the four suits, and there's four of each of those, so sixteen total. Sixteen face cards. There are fifty-two cards in a deck. Okay, and on almost all questions, they're going to want you to reduce that. Right, so if we have sixteen over fifty-two, if we divide each of those by four, we will get four out of thirteen. Right, 16 divided by 4 is 4, 52 divided by 4 is 13, and so then a good answer would be 4 out of 13 chance you will get a face card. Okay, again with the consecutives, what about two consecutive face cards? Okay, so we know the first chance, first one was 4 out of 13. Okay, so what is the <clears throat> likelihood of drawing another one? Okay, so in this setup, uh, we're not just repeating exactly the same thing like we were with the dice question, right? And that now it's four out of 13, but if I already have a face card, then there are only 15 face cards left in the deck, right? Because I got one of them, not 16 anymore. And there are now only 51 uh, cards in the deck, right? And so I'm gonna multiply these two numbers together, right? So unfortunately, it's not, it doesn't work out for a nice clean math. We can't cross cancel or anything like that. Uh, so that number is 60 over 663, which is approximately 9%, right? So fairly small chance that the question will ask you, is it 60 divided by 663? Very good chance it'll say, uh, what is, the approximate percentage of drawing two consecutive face cards, right? 8%, 9%, 10%, whatever. And if you, if this number doesn't calculate real easily in your mind, really what you want to think is, okay, 60 over 600 is about 10%, right? So six, 60 out of 600, we could reduce to one tenth, 10%. And so 60 over 663, it's going to be a little bit less than that. And your mind should say something like eight or 9%, most likely, that will be the uh, only available answer choice. The other answer will be 
different enough where you can just say 9%. If not, then you gotta go and divide 60 by 663 and come up with the answer.